Hello everyone, so welcome to part 24 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. Okay, so from this video, we are going to make the dynamic banner slider. Okay, so uh, that thing we are going to do for our home page. Uh, we have started working on the home page from the last video, and in the last video, we able to convert uh, this. Uh, 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 these categories sections into dynamic now all the sections categories and subcategories are coming from the any panel okay so in the same way we are going to make home page banners uh, these are the static banners right now slider banners you can be able to see this is uh, the script that is running for our home page and we are going to make this banner dynamic uh, from the admin panel okay so uh, that functionality we are going to do now okay so one by one we are going to make everything dynamic in our home page okay all these new levels best seller products also we will uh, do from the any panel uh, that we can manage from the any panel okay and uh, these banners sometime in the future we will also can manage from the any panel okay so everything we can manage from the any panel most of the things in the home page we can manage from the any panel okay so let's start working on the home page slider banners and uh, we are going to first create the table uh, so i'm going to open uh, my database uh, for creating the table banners table we are going to create with the migration command and we are going to insert some of the dummy banners with uh, with the cedar okay so ecom9 is our database and we are going to create the banners table in this one and uh, we'll uh, create those columns like uh, uh, ID we are all always there image uh, image C this is the banner image that we are going to keep uh, in our table image name we are going to keep uh, but the banner itself uh, will go into our uh, folder like uh, see uh, I'm going to open my project here ecom9 is my project folder uh, public e uh, we are going to make front images and here okay so you can see here category images product images are already there i'm going to make one more folder here i'm going to make it like banner images okay so we are going to keep this banner in this banner underscore images folder okay so right now uh, we can copy the images from our template okay so uh, see uh, i am going to open our template that we have downloaded uh, some videos back okay so this is our template here images and we are going to check the banners and here we can see banner 1 and banner 2 these two images uh, I'm going to copy these images and we'll paste it in our banner underscore images this will come dynamically uh, from the admin panel but right now I have just pasted it because I just want to make the view ready in the admin panel okay uh, so uh, the first thing is we are going to create the table with migration okay so we are going to run the uh, we are going to create the migration file so we are going to run the command uh, for our ecom9 folder i am going to right click new terminal at folder if you are windows you know how to run the commands okay we need to run uh, migration we need to create the migration command we need to run the artisan command here php artisan make migration and we are going to create the banners table create banners table okay so i'm going to open here uh, that create banners table file and here we are going to add uh, image link title okay So every banner is having some link or maybe you can add or not add see link you can add to the banner one is the image one is the link and alt and title also we are going to add for the SEO purpose okay alt and title I hope that you know that what is alt okay and what is title of the banner that we are going to add as well title and alt and also status if sometime you want to 
make your banner disable that we can easily disable enable the banner okay so status for the status we are going to make tiny integer for the status like this okay string image string link okay fine string again title for title string again for the alt okay for uh, columns uh, that are we are going to make the data type uh, as worker and after that tiny integer uh, for status and then timestamps okay so it seems to be fine we are going to run the php artisan migrate command so that our table will get better php artisan migrate okay the table has been created we are going to check i'm going to refresh here see the banners table has been created here okay so now we are going to add some dummy banners but before that we are going to create the model okay so banner model we are going to create for our banners table php artisan make model banner okay so now uh, we are going to create the banners table cedar command uh, we want to insert few dummy banners in this table with cedar so we are going to run that command okay like we have done earlier as well php artisan make cedar okay so cedar is similar to the uh, migration see the syntax is almost similar statement is all, almost same similar that is the php artisan make migration and this one is the php artisan make cedar okay so we use uh, these artisan command a lot so sometime uh, make cedar sometime make migration sometime make model sometime make controller okay all the commands are similar okay you can see so it is very easy to uh, learn these commands okay uh, to remember these commands so a php artisan make cedar then the file name we can make identical type of file name that uh, looks similar like banners table cedar okay so now we can open this one banners table cedar so here uh, we want to add the dummy entries here dummy banners here but here first of all we need to add the banner model include the banner model into this file use app model so we know that in laravel 8 9 we use the models uh, mode for folder is there okay starting from the laravel 6 7 and 8 all the models are in the models folder but earlier uh, its model folder uh, was never there in laravel 5 okay so app models banners banner okay so now uh, here we are going to add uh, okay so here we are going to add banner records we will add all the entries in array uh, first id id is one then image image uh, we know that two of the images that we keep here in ecom 9 public images front images banner images these two okay are already there so we will uh, just need to add now in our table first one is banner 1.png and see and now uh, we will uh, we are going to check the fields once okay for, and then titan and alt okay then uh, first link image then link link uh, you can add any link you want okay suppose we just say like said method starting okay so now or you can add any internal link like uh, you can add here uh, so we also check that which when it is it is spring collection so the link may be the spring collection and this one is the tops so one is the spring collection one is the top so uh, see here the link can be spring collection okay we can add this link okay dummy link it is the dummy link so uh, so that we can add like this spring collection and that one is the top uh, see that outer URL will automatically come there so don't worry about that so here after link uh, we are going to add uh, title and alt as well title title see we are going to make it spring collection like this 
and alt alt out so we will keep the same spring flexion after that uh, we are going to check one last thing that is the status status we will keep it one make it active active for active we need to add the one okay so now one more entry that we will add id2 this time banner2 this time and instead of spring collection now we are having the top so link will be like this tops it is like uh, website url tops okay and then title title we are also going to add tops and same for the alt as well that comes uh, for every image okay status will be one okay so we can uh, remove this one you can put semicolon uh, semicolon is not required okay so now uh, we are going to insert this banner and for that i will run the banner insert then these records done okay now we are going to update the database header as well here we are going to add going to command this and we'll add banner stable header this one okay now we'll run the final command that is the php artisan dbc so this has been created and now we are going to check the entries have come up here yes entries have come up here you can see both entries have come up here banner 1 and banner 2 uh, one is having the uh, link spring collection and one is having the tops okay same for the title and alt okay so now we able to add uh, the banners record in the uh, banners table and also we able to add these banners in our folder statically right now but in next video we are going to add in uh, for our admin panel we are going to add uh, the banners module in our admin panel and we'll show the banner there from where we can able to add and edit our banners okay go to login so we are going to show here a uh, banners a uh, module uh, inside uh, we can show we can make the separate tab like banners management in that we are going to show all the banners that we have added okay with the active inactive delete add edit options okay so stay tuned for that in next video we are going to work on the end panel once again for showing the banners formulating the banners okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye